two horsepower, uh, what we call the Tech Pro Series machines. Now, a lot of people have said, well, why are we putting this unit out? Because the bulk standard belt driving machines, two horsepower, three horsepower with a B2800 and B3800 front, have been with us for years and years and years. Now, the factory had made some adjustments with these pumps. Uh, and when Nick and I first took delivery of them and took them out of the box, it was fair to say we weren't exactly blown away with what we could see as far as the changes go. On first glance, we can see that the air filter has changed and that they've added this plastic cowling over the top. But that on its own didn't really amount to anything. And until such time, belt driven piston compressors of your original B2800 to B3800 in the past. What are your thoughts on noise levels? Dramatically different. Um, so much so in fact when we have the two units running side by side the difference is like night and day. It really really is. Um, on one of the last open days and so fact we actually had one of these units alongside the original machine that was inside the acoustic enclosure and when you compare the two machines running side by side there's next to no difference between the two machines. Now upon further inspection where they've managed to get a reduction in noise level, yes it's partly through the air filter they've actually dampened it on the air filter on the, the pulsation side but actually the main change have actually taken place inside the valve plate. Uh, when you actually remove the valve plate the design of it is completely different They've even actually milled out the section on the top of the pistons because you've got a, a, a head of a screw that actually invades ever so slightly into the location where the pistons take place. But in turn doing so, the noise reduction in most cases is all taken through that valve plate. Also, just to point out, that's a parallel twin as well. So there's two pistons going up uh, rather than a single. The new pumps as they are now, Interestingly, the rest of it, as far as the crankcase, everything else is identical to that of the original B2800 and B3800. So, if you're at a point whereby you have a pump fail and you want to change it, but you want to change it for the new variation, you can. They are a direct swap between the two. Um, and as far as the old outgoing model versus the new Tech Pro it has the lower noise level in it, the difference in price between was ten pounds. It was next to nothing at all. So. As you can probably also imagine, we had to ensure that we basically sold our stocks of the old machines first before such time we introduced the new ones, because we knew what would happen. The minute we released this, we would be stuck with the old stock of the machines because people wouldn't want them and understandably so. Okay. It also runs ever so slightly uh, cooler, and it's, it's got a one or maybe two CFM more air coming out because it runs cooler as well. So as it stands at the moment, two pumps they've actually made this change to, the B2800 and the B3800. However, we do know now that they've started with that, bearing in mind that was their biggest seller by volume by a long, long margin. Uh, the intention now is to start going up and through the range. So they'll start going on to the MB5s, MB7s, MB10 pump units. So you will start to see obviously the same progression take place right the way through the range. Uh, but I think, and I'd be interested in your feedback. What are your, what are your thoughts? As far as piston compressors go, I think it's a big, big reduction as far as noise level. Good product. Yeah. If you see demo and bulk together. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's uh, the same. That's almost what you need to do to yeah. really reinforce the, the reduction in noise level. Um, so, yeah, absolutely. That, that. Service kit be different than the game. The service kit is different, although the price of it is exactly the same. Um, the service kit, because it will contain different air right. filter and a valve plate, yeah. So though they have had to start modifying the, the, the contents of it, and at that point, it's just easier for them to allocate it with a different part number. Oh well, yeah. So the it's important neat, part for everyone to understand is any time a service contract is set up, it must stay either new pump or pro pump or something to. Differentiate it between yeah. the two. Okay. Um, if you want a very quick way to identify which pump it's got on it, 
air filter or the plastic shroud. That shroud was not there before. No. Um, the shroud, I think, if I'm honest with you, apart from being a bit of a safety aspect to stop you from putting your hand on a, a hot cylinder head, mm. it also helps protect it to a bit of a point as far as transportation. Other than that, there's no yeah. genuine reduction. This is literally that, it is just a cover. It, it is nothing more. But if you look for that, you will be able to tell instantly whether it is the old one you. It's probably the best way to. Is it cool. Cool. So, like, to make sure it goes across. I, I would love to say yes, that's a technical reason behind it, but no. <laughs> I think it is simply a case that they put it on there. If you nothing else, it actually does help to protect the aftercooler because that, obviously, the fins of that become a little bit delicate as far as. Once it's put in a box, if it goes over, that's normally the first thing that pop the transport damage. So when it's in the garage. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly that. So.